what's up, Dad here, and welcome back to more YGO Pro. In the last part, I showed you guys my Ghost Trick deck. This one, actually, yeah, I showed you my Ghost Trick deck. But in this part, I'm going to show you guys my Fright Fur deck. Now, the Fright Fur deck relies very heavily on fusions. Now, I'm going to talk to you guys about the extra deck, and then what I believe that should be like the main core, or like the main, like, you know, the main, your main deck. Now, for your fusion, now, Daredevil, Fright Fur Daredevil, and Edge Imp Cottonmouth, they're currently only for YGO Pro. They're not currently out yet, so you can't really, like, so, you know, don't, so you can't really find them anywhere, so like, you know, don't stress it out, because they're not really like, you know, essential to the deck. They're more like, you know, if you want to run them. They're not really essential, like you need them for the deck. But, you know, you, if, if, that is, if you want to run them, just look out, like, you know, they're not out yet. I say for the extra deck, you definitely want to run three Sabertooths. Like, three Sabertooths, definitely. And then for every other fusion except for Bear, you run three to two. You run three to two of each fusions except for Bear. Leo, you should run one. One or two, whichever one you prefer. But you don't want to run Bear because Bear is actually Bear. Bear is actually a little bit pointless for this deck. You definitely want to run three Krakens, three Tigers because Tiger is basically your nuke. Tiger is basically your nuke for this deck. If you're able to summon him using a lot of materials, you can basically nuke your opponent's field. Sheep to use the fact to basically annoy the fuck out of your opponent, and both to do the OTKO because he can attack as many times as sheep materials are used to summon him. So if you use, so if you use five materials to summon him. If you use five materials to summon him, you can attack. You can attack five times in that turn. Or no, you can, you can attack five turns. Period. That's like freaking like wow. Like fuck with me now, my guy. <laughs> so for the main deck, since it's very fusion heavy, you want to run three polys. You definitely want to run three polys and fusion recoveries. Two or three, but two is recommended. Two instant fusions so you can bring out sheep. Regeki, because you know you don't really have to run Regeki, but you know if you want to run Regeki, you should. Um, definitely two penguins, two cats. You want to run two of each falafels, except for Leo, except for Leo. You don't want to run, you want two of each except for Leo. Uh, three dog, because dog can help you get out, you know, cat and penguin to your hand. They keep the materials. Owl, so you can bring Polly to your hand, so you can set up your Polly's. Uh, fact, fusion fact, uh, fight for a few, factory. Um, you can do it with one. I'd say, you know, two, but you know what? I'd say, you know, I'd say you can do it with one. You don't have to run two, but if you want to run two, you should, you should, but you should have at least, like, one factory in your deck. Uh, Suits of Rebirth, that's good to, to, for, you know, special summon, you know, from your graveyard. Uh, Fright for Fact Patchwork is, net, like, you really want, run three of these, because these three will save your life. Fright for Patchwork will save, it will turn the tide of duel like that. It will, it help you bring out Edge Imps and Polly's to your hands so you can do, so you can do your fusions. Fright Fur Fusions is basically Fright Fur's version of Mirka Fusion, so I say definitely run that. Three Chains and three uh, Sabers. Don't run Tomahawk or Saw. If you want run, if you want like Brown Leo, don't get Saw. Get um, King of the Swamp. King of the Swamp is a good substitute for Saw, and you can also use it to bring out Polly's. Fusion Reserve, again, that's, you know, to bring out, you know, your so you can set up your, um, your Polly plays. Now, if you want to run the Fright Fur deck, uh, a lot of these cards, like, um, except, I think, for, except for Sabretooth, a lot of these cards are in the new pack. Uh, it's, this one, it's this pack. Um, the Fusion Enforcers, I don't know if you can see it well, but it's uh, Fusion Enforcers. It's currently, like, you know, $4, you know, so I say definitely pick, definitely, you know, if you want more Fright Furs, definitely pick yourself up a pack. Um, this, this deck is very, very meta. It's, it's like a heavy meta base. It's very, very, like, no, heavy. Yeah, only meta, new, yeah, very meta, so... It's, it's a very, like, very OTKO. Like, it's, like, super, like... I, I OTKO a lot of decks with this, with, um, with Fright Furs. It's super, super good if you want to run, like, a very heavy OTKO deck. If you're, if you're facing off against, like, you know, um... I guess, oh, wait, I guess for any deck, like, any deck... You will not survive. Oh yes. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, I guess. I guess I will survive. It's very good for almost every deck. It's very adaptable. It's very adaptable. But when it bricks, it could mean like you know, it could be the end of the door. Like if this if this deck bricks, it 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 could be very bad for you. It could be very bad for the door. The deck bricks. And like yeah, you want to go second. You never want to go first. If you go first, it's gonna be very bad. You want to go second. This deck relies heavily on going second. So you want to go second as much as possible. As, as you want, like, prioritize going second. So that, that's why you can set up your... Because this deck, the only bad side I, I have to say for this deck is that it's not very defensive. It's very, very, very offensive. It's very bad for defense. Like, it has, like, very little, like, defensive capabilities when going first. Like, when you... Like, if you're going first, 
it's very bad. It's like it's kind of hard for you to set up a good defense. I'd say if you are, if you do, are like, if you are going first, a good defense is what the fuck? The fuck it. Oh fuck a cubic deck. Oh fuck. I hate cubic decks. I say if you are going first, a good defense is that bring out kraken or sheep. Sheep kraken, or if you're a or if you're lucky enough to able to get saber tooth out on the first turn, use three materials to bring out saber tooth. The same thing is the fact. Is that if you are able to use three materials to summon him, he can't be a throw battle. Oh fuck! Wait a minute. Yeah, hand destruction. Send two cards from the hand. Yeah. Then chain. Now you chain the fact to bring another password. Okay. Yeah. So, boom, boom. I use that, and I also use that. Yeah. Chain the fact. Let me get another. Let me get another. Let me get another password. <laughs> you mind if I bring out another? Oh, what? He negates. Oh, never mind. Okay. Let me get another. Mm, already have a patchwork. Once per turn. So, you know, yeah. The Patrick saves duels. Patrick will save the duel. So, definitely you want to have Patrick, but then you don't want to use use all your Patricks, like, like you know, all like you know all at once. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save this, that one Patrick. I'm going to save it when, you know, shit starts hitting the fan. I'm going to save that one Patrick. So, here, here, here's my play. Here's what I'm going to do next. He's He might want to set up a back row defense. He might, he might set up a back row defense. If not, then I think I'm good. Okay, I think I'm able to OTKO him with uh, if he doesn't set up a backward defense. I'm I might able to OTKO him by playing Owl, by normal summoning Owl. Oh, what the fuck? X Y Z. Or oh, Honor Arc. Mm. I think I've got this. Okay, so here's here's my play. Summon Owl. Hell the fact I get a Polly. Yeah, I'm gonna get a Polly. And then. Hmm, Polly into Kraken. Polly into Kraken. I should use Boom and then. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Boom, Boom. Polly to Kraken attack. And then use Kraken the effect to Boom. Destroy that. And then Patchwork. Yeah, use Patchwork. Brings out Polly and another, yeah, another, another saber. I, I was gonna say chain, but like let me hold off on the chain. Activate that, and then you want to bring out wolf. And then boom, one, two, three. Kabang! Now that's four materials. I used four materials. So grab it from my hand. Oh, add, oh to my hand. Yeah, add another owl to my hand. Oh, here's the thing. Since I was since I use like four materials to special summon um wolf, I'm going to attack four times this turn. But if but I can't attack with Kraken, so shit, I already activated that, so. And I already activated that, so yeah. So if I'm able to attack four Yeah, so basically this is the game. I attack him four times directly. If he doesn't stop this, if he doesn't have like a battle fader or anything. Yeah, I got this. Yeah, this is yeah, this is the OTKO. Wolf is definitely good for the OTKO. Wolf is necessarily for the OTKO. He just wrecks. He just wrecks. See, again. Two more times. Check the field. Nope. Check again. Boom. Now 2000. Now he might be saving a battle fader. He might have a battle fader. He might be saving it. Boom. Yep. This is game. Boom. No battle fader. Nothing. No response. We're good. Boom. That's why I love Fright First, guys. You wanna go? Wanna go again, dude? You wanna go again? I'll, 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 I'm up for another round. If you're up, if you're up for it, no, I'm up for another round. No, I'm up for. Oh, never mind. Okay, okay. So that's the fright for deck, guys. Um, if you want, if you want, me, if you want me to show you more about the fright first, I'll definitely do it. I'll definitely, you know, make another video for it. Or if you want me to show you any other decks, I have my fright for deck, my ghost trick deck, and my friend, um, unlucky elite. Um, he actually made a troll deck, which I'm actually like, I'm actually literally impressed and like, you know, inspired by that because I dueled him with his troll deck and his deck is super like, mmm. So basically, I, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for him to like give me like the specs of his deck, but currently it's like, you know, it's like what I think the troll deck is going to look like, but, but I have to wait for his specs so, so I can like, I can make it, so I can model it after his. But currently, Kaiju's is definitely like the heavy of the troll deck because, you know, oh, you have a strong monster? You. Oh, Marshmallow! <laughs> Marshmallow! You have two monsters? Have a Lava Golem. You wanna attack me directly? Battle Fader. You wanna me effect? Effect Mailer. You wanna attack me? Blood Dragon. <laughs> Final Countdown! Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da.
<laughs> royal prison, nope. Nothing from the graveyard. Royal decree, nope. But these two kind of counter each other. Like, no, if you have royal prison, you know, activate it. But if you have, like, royal decree, then activate it. Like, you know, if you have royal decree on the field, this, that one kind of gates royal prison. But, you know, it's, it's whatever. Like, if you if you don't draw into royal decree, but you draw into royal prison, then definitely activate royal prison. So that's going to be it for um, this part, guys. If you want, like, if you want me to make a deck and show it to you guys, you know, just leave it in the comment section. Let me know, like, what deck do you use in Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, either in YGO Pro or, like, you know, actual, like, dueling. Like, what do you use? With what, what, like, what's your main deck? Like, what do you use? I'm really curious. And, like, if you guys want, I'll definitely, like, do it. Like, if you want to duel in YGO Pro, you know, I'll, that'll be, I'm totally up for that. Like, if you guys want to make a cool deck and try to see if you can defeat my Fright Furs or my Ghost or if I'm, if I'm able to, like, get my Troll deck, you know, get, um, my Troll deck inspired by Unlucky Elite finished, then definitely, yeah, I'd love to duel you guys. So thank you all for watching. Keep on dueling, you amazing duelist. And I'll be seeing you all in the amazing part. Um, see you guys in the next YGO Pro, uh, YGO Pro part, guys. Don't, click, don't forget to click the subscribe button. And have an amazing, awesome, incredible Yu-Gi-Oh! filled day. As she moaned, she thrust. Her partner came in, she cussed. That's lust. So Thor had fallen into the river. She decided not to get up. It was not responsibility she needed. That's slot.